Welcome to my channel. This is a time-lapse video of a painting of a brown horse inside of a barn. Um, and I started off with a pencil drawing that is not on video. I forgot to turn the camera on for that. Um, but uh, it's a fairly loose drawing. I didn't do a lot of measuring here. You can tell that, you know, the number of wood panels that I have as I start painting them in don't match the ones on the side. And, the goal is always is to, to get a quick likeness, and I thought that getting a likeness of, of the wood paneling was something I'd be a little more forgiving and didn't need to be too exact about. Um, this horse is unlike a lot of the other horses I have painted because it is facing forward. You don't get any profile, so there's no like body cues to let us know it's a horse, so I really needed to nail the structure of the face and head to make sure it read as a horse. Um, there's a window behind the horse you can see through the barn that I wanted to make sure I added um, just to give the uh, the picture some depth and there's just a little bit of light you can see in the very dark shadows inside the barn that again I th thought would uh, would help with some of the depth but the real I think challenge for me was to make sure I nailed the the structure of the horse's head and the different planes of the head especially as they come forward into the nose and uh, nostrils um, so that was kind of my goal. And then, you know, to try to work on some wood texture, which is not something I do a lot of. So I was excited about having a chance to do that. Uh, and my approach to that was really just to first try to get the value as close as I could and get the, um, the sort of almost like a purplish gray, kind of a warmish gray um, color. And it's very muted. So uh, I just wanted to make sure that whatever I did with the surrounding wood structure, that it wasn't going to uh, be a distraction from what was going on inside that rectangular frame. Uh, and I'm starting, you know, with uh, dark colors as I usually do. Um, there are some old rusty metal hinges and a rusted metal clasp and uh, a slightly less rusted, uh, looks like a sort of locking mechanism. Uh, that's metal and I wanted to try and see if I can get that to read as metal but the colors are also similar to the very aged faded wood color that uh, um, I wasn't exactly sure how it was going to read and I did pump up the um, uh, the chroma on the metal structures just a little more than in the photograph just to make sure they stood out from the wood that I was putting in and you know what I'm really just doing here is blocking in big chunks of the wood and then I'll go back and add a little bit of uh, markings to create some um, texture and I don't do like wood grain texture but I just try to give it uh, a sense of aged wood texture uh, and that's really just done by taking slightly darker or slightly lighter bits of paint and just tapping my brush in there and sort of smushing it around and you can see me here now working on some of the metal components um, adding some shadow to give it some depth uh, and you'll see that um, as I start to add a little bit of highlights to some of those they start to look a little more three-dimensional um, and then as always I go back and try to do some touch-ups and final highlights on the horse and whatever else needs to be touched up and finalized uh, and this was a fun painting to do um, again the challenge was to make sure it read like a horse straight on so getting that that structure of the head correct was important and this is available on my website which is roberto suzuki.art i'm also on instagram at roberto underscore suzuki underscore art and on facebook at fb.com slash roberto suzuki art thank you